Okay, we're about to do an Aldi's haul. Um, it's always fun to come to Aldi's. It's when you first come in the door, all the fresh produce is just waiting for you. Uh, there's always uh, grapes or strawberries. And I love like the spinach and the lettuce section because uh, it's always fresh and it's always at a good price. I prefer the romaine lettuce. Uh, they have watermelons today. They have the romaine uh, tomatoes. They were only like $1.15 uh, for the pack and that wasn't bad at all. Uh, they had the cherry tomatoes also. And they also had the um, the multicolor uh, cherry tomatoes and they had avocados. Now you can get the avocado by the bag was $3.95 and then the large ones were like 95 cents each. The onions, I uh, always need onions. I cook with onions all the time. So I went on and grabbed another bag of onions. Uh, even if I'm, you know, not low on them, I'm gonna need them. I consider getting the red onions, but my husband, he hates the smell of them. I don't particularly like how strong they are myself, but I know that they're very nutritious. They're probably, uh, of all the onions, they're probably uh, the best as far as your general health. Now, uh, they're garlic. You can get them on a three to a pack. I like to get them like that. I think they're a little bit cheaper. And they also had some fresh ginger as well. They had the uh, potatoes. You can get the yellow potatoes, uh, the mixed color potatoes, and they're always good for making potato salad or just uh, cutting them up and putting them in a skillet or putting them in the oven. Now their cabbage was a little um, a little small today, so I didn't opt into the, uh, the cabbage. I didn't need any celery, uh, nor did I need any of the yellow squash. And um, now that zucchini, I want to point out this was not the organic uh, zucchini, but it's like 95 cents for two, which I think is a good deal if you don't necessarily get the organic. And the uh, green peppers, um, I went on and got the green peppers because what I do, I cut them up into little small pieces, little chunks, and I put them in a bag and I freeze them. And that way I can pull them out when I'm ready to make meatloaf or whatever the recipe calls for, I go ahead and, and uh, pull them out. Now these are the granola uh, grains. They are really good. The kids like to put them on top of their uh, yogurt. Uh, you can put them on your oatmeal or, or put them in cookies or what have you. And uh, they also had uh, the protein pancakes and the maple syrup. Now the maple syrup was like about $15. Uh, I opted out of getting that then, but um, I usually get my honey at Jungle Gems. And um, now the protein pancakes, if you like those, they had them in about three different flavors. Also, now the cashews, they run about five or six dollars and they have the, um, the sea salt and they have the one with the pepper, a chili pepper. That's really good. And it's not that they're uh, organic or anything, but they just have a pretty good price on them. Now, in the bread section, they have a lot of um, different types of bread. You can get the um, a broche bread. You can get the muffins. You can get um, what do you call it? the English muffins. Uh, they have one of my favorites is like the uh, protein and the spinach uh, wraps. This is so good. They, they're not that cheap, but that's a pretty good price at $4.50 uh, because I noticed and I priced them at several other stores. This flat bread is really good if you want to make pizzas or just doing something a little special, uh, but some pizza sauce and onions and all that. It's really, really good. Then they have the smaller pack for the little individual ones for the kids. This one was a eight pack and they call them the mini. It had like a garlic, um, a garlic flavor. Now the bread, this was a 12 grain bread. I had to go ahead and throw that in the cart too <laughs> because it was so soft and I love it. And again, here are some uh, keto uh, coconut granolas. Uh, I don't necessarily do uh, keto, but 
Yeah, they have that there. They have all kind of raisins, dried fruit, uh, trail mixes. All those things are there, especially for the kids' lunches. And then one of my favorites is the pita uh, vegetable crackers. This one has garlic and chives, and I love that. You, they're just good, just to munch on. Okay, they got the Promised Land milk. Uh, that's three seventy nine. And uh, let's see those other brown cage free. It looks like they're out of the ones I normally get. So I don't get any eggs today. But they do have this organic cage free brown egg grade A. This is by uh, Dutch Country. Whatever it's a certified humane cage free family formed. I used to get this a different brand that I used to get, and I don't see them today. I love the oat milk. Kids usually like the almond, but we have plenty of milk now. And I did need to pick up some creamer today. Uh, let's see. I got the almond milk creamer. This was caramel non-dairy creamer and it is running let's see pure 394 yeah and a zero fresh vanilla is 249 that's CD's favorite I'll get him that one butter used to be 299 this is just showing you how inflation has got everything going up. And let's see. I don't think we need any hot dogs. And this is my little vegan section. Uh, mozzarella cheese. This is three for now. This is a wonderful brand. I love this. And I've been getting, I got several of these. This is only $2.49. I love these, they melt really good, and they also have them in mozzarella slices. Uh, they got the tofu, $1.75. I'm good on tofu right now. And I like this uh, ravioli, $3.79. is uh, vegan also. I never heard of banana milk, $3.99. I don't think I'm gonna try that today, but that looks wonderful. And look, we have a tofu cubes. It's already seasoned. Sesame ginger barbecue, and um, it's three twenty nine. That herb grown, I love that brand. I, if I didn't have so much tofu already, I would go ahead and grab that today and try it. Uh, maybe next time. Okay, cookie dough cafe. That's something the kids would like. Gourmet edible. Oh no, that's an edible cookie dough. We know what that's. Ooh, honey, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, there goes some uh, vegan meatballs. They mark them down at three seventy nine. Uh, that's not very many in there, though. Yeah, that doesn't look like a very good deal to me. But cauliflower plus a pizza. They have these have really gone up. They're like seven dollars now. They've really gone up. Inflation. If you enter your sandals, eight forty nine. Italian sausage, three ninety nine. Oven sausage, pork chops. Like uh, their organic, 100% grass-fed ground beef, six dollars. This is a bag of ground turkey, six fifty. It's uh, six fifty for thirty-six ounces. It's not bad. 
I love these skinny pops. It's only three dollars. Yeah, I'm not an avocado person, but I do use them in my smoothies. Three forty nine. Yep, these are five dollars. The pot stickers haven't tried those yet, and they are also five. Five forty nine. Here's all the various pizzas and whew, my other favorite. I don't sleep on these uh, vegan vanilla cookie chips. Mm -hmm. Cookie chip and it's, um, they also have the vegan cold brew oat milk. They have the strawberry flavor. And these are all, uh, let's see. They don't have the price over here. Let me go get the price. They're, I'm sure they're on the listed on the other side. Okay, they're they're three forty nine, and then these other. Now these are delicious too. I tried the uh, caramel, the caramel and the uh, frozen. The, I'm sorry, the forest fruit. Uh, they're on sale for $2.99 this week, plant-based. Can't beat it for your snack. Uh, another go-to is their uh, bags of fruit for your smoothies. Can't beat that. And uh, let's see. There's another cauliflower crust pizza, $5.99. Let's see if I can find any other plant-based items over on this side. Okay, here we go. Here's your, all your vegan. Okay, you got your kale burger, veggie, quinoa. Oh, okay, this is a vegan veggie burger. This one is, oh, that's another kale, chicken tenders and chicken patties. Up here's your protein, or protein burger. Veggie burger. Oh, you have to try these. These are all fantastic. And the, okay, and the meatballs. These are also delicious. Uh, $4.49. Uh, let's see, asparagus green beans, uh, broccoli spears. I love these. These are wonderful teriyaki burgers. Uh, Five dollars now. They put them, they used to be in a box and now they're in a bag at five twenty, five thirty nine is really oh that's about the same as they were. And is that on sale, Marcus Summer? Oh they're on sale for four dollars. Oh, I have to grab some of these. Let's see. Yeah, and it's your probably. Yes. Well, my girls love the french fries, the seasoned french fries. I don't see them. They got the Azibia teas for $1.99, 12 for one ounce. Their singles. Ooh, my Cody just put those out. That's a raspberry. Okay, got the uh, avocado pure avocado oil for $7.99 and the uh, green powder $15. Now that's a really good price on the uh, protein. Hmm. Okay, they have the organic coffees. instant coffee. This is what my granddaughter loves. Dollar ninety nine. Each tea. My husband likes loves this stuff. This is a kind of an off brand to the one we used to get at Kroger's. And the Arizona teas. Now the pomegranate, the black cherry, 
549. I'm telling you, they are potent. I did the cranberry. That cranberry, this is no joke, 100%, because I'm telling you, me and my son, we tried that cranberry juice. We was like, ooh, it's bitter. It ain't no joke. It's another organic uh, oxidant protein. One is the citrus. One is the berry. And of course, all your other juices right on this side. This is a go-to for um, your uh, tortillas, the flour. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see the hard ones, taco mix, seasoning mix. Taco mix is only 30, 38 cents for the Casamia. That's not bad. Uh, how you doing? Good. Let's see. Cauliflower. Onion powder mix. This right is, uh, yeah, this is good. This is kind of like the Lipton soup mix. This is 80, kind of an off brand. Uh, okay, let's see. I get those pepperonis for in the little pizza things for the kids. They love to make their own pizza. Two twenty nine for the little pizza. Uh, I guess a piece of crust, and then the pepperoni is two forty nine. They can just make their own. Get some that good old pizza sauce and just do their thing. Uh, this right here, that pesto, that's a good deal too. I love to get that for pizzas. Um, two fifty nine. Kids love them ramen noodles, so I might as well grab them some chicken ones. I don't know why these kids love ramen noodles so much. Full of salt. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Okay, the Chunky Campbell's Chicken Soup, 226. And oh, this is what I want to show you. Uh, the vegetable broth. You can't beat that. A dollar uh, seventy-nine. Of course, you can make your own, but when you just need some up in that cabinet, there it is. You can get the chicken or the beef. Okay. Uh, the stone meal garlic. I love that. Uh, they have the different little brand chili mixes. They they taste pretty good though. I I can't complain. Brown cinnamon two forty-nine. I'm trying to think what it is that I need today. I love their all bagels. That's only $1.85, which is good. Uh, don't need any vanilla parsley. I haven't had any parsley in a while. Need to get some parsley. And let's see, peppercorn rainbow just a grinder, $1.99. That's a nice little deal. Coconut and avocado oil spray, $3.99. I've never, never tried these, but uh, this ghee is good, but $11.99 seems a little high. I know we can find a, some a little cheaper. They usually have it a little cheaper in here, but I don't see it on the shelf today. Grapeseed oil, $4.99. And uh, let's see, extra version olive oil, $7.99. I don't need any salad dressings. Uh, so I just got them some pickles. Yeah, we got those. And they do have the Kraft American Whip for four forty nine. dollars Yeah, that's good. We got soy sauce. This is my Moringa Pure Cane Sugar that I love for $4.64 now. Vegetables. So, yeah. I love that chicken breast. It's a organic, non-GMO. Runs about three fifty, three twenty-nine. I don't want to try these for a while. I think I'll get the thin brown noodles. These are oh, these are the hot ones. Yeah. The broccoli, oh, that looks good. Just have some of the finest little gadgets and things. Just want to come and just shop little odd things. They 
you know, sometimes I have shoes and mug trees, rugs, stuff for school, things for your car. Um, all those things are generally here. I got the, um, the hummingbird feeder the other day. It was almost $10, about $10. Not too bad. I haven't set it up yet, but yeah. That's a cute little two-seater for uh, $45. And an organizer. That's it for school, for college kids. Yeah. 12 doors for $50. Velvet hangers, 14. And, oh, my husband's been wanting one of these. It's 149. Uh, it's one of those tents you can zip up and get in. Turn it this way. Can you see that? <laughs> this is one of those uh, storage tables. Yeah. Put out on your patio. Some patio furniture. More down to 169. You know, it's probably going to be different prices where you are in the country. But, uh, yeah. This is just that one aisle that I love to go down. Oh, nice pillow for $12.99. Okay, okay. Okay. Pressure air fryer, um, the lunch container, skillet, $24, high speed blending system, eyeglasses, candles, rugs, seats. Oh, these are nice for when you go to the games. Oh, yeah, this is like a sports cushion. Like, it's two of them in there. They're lightweight, and that price kind of save your butt a little bit. <laughs> for $5.99, that ain't bad. I'm gonna put it back right. It's a good looking oh, outdoor log burner for $99. That's good looking. We're about to check out 29. Here's another fire pit for 39. Plants for $13.99. Those are cute. Okay, I'm back from my little shopping haul. I got most of the things put away. And um, whew, I don't know if you've tried Aldi's before, if you have an Aldi's in your city, but if you haven't, you haven't, try to get to an Aldi's uh, one day, all right? Now, please, if you don't mind, I would love it. I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell so you get all my upcoming videos, and don't forget to share it with someone and leave me a comment. I love to have your questions or uh, comments on any of my videos, okay? Hey, it's your life. You love it and make the best of it, okay? Until next time, love you guys.